most common questions I get when loading in my Hammond organ and Leslie is, have you ever thought you should have taken up the flute? Today I'm going to show you how I move a Hammond organ and Leslie by myself. If you find this video helpful, please like the video below and consider subscribing. I have a lot of organ content on my channel. This is my Rode Hammond A100 and Leslie 122. A Hammond A100 is identical to a B3, except that in stock form it has internal speakers that don't rotate and the cabinet is different. I've removed the speakers and the reverb tank in this organ to make it lighter. I'll be detailing how I bought this organ and what I've modified in a future video. Here's my 2000 Honda Odyssey that I bought from a coworker. It's extremely spacious and can hold a lot of gear. I load the organ through these side doors. This car has over 200,000 miles. After removing the rear seats, the floor is relatively flat, but it's uneven. It's not the easiest to roll a 300 pound organ, especially with the exposed seat tracks. What kind of vehicle do you use to move your organ? Let me know in the comments below. Luckily, the Odyssey can fit a 4x8 sheet of plywood. Since the plywood doesn't extend to the side doors, I'm using these metal entry ramps that I bought on Amazon. I'll bolt two on each side of the plywood. I purchased two fold-up ramps on Craigslist. Many people buy the Harbor Freight ramp, but it doesn't fold up. These will go on the side door and will allow me to roll up the organ. I always use a back brace and gloves when I load in my gear. Now it's time for me to roll my organ. On the sides are standard organ dollies. Normally it'll have four straps, two for the top and two for the bottom. I use a ratchet strap for the top because it's faster. From this angle, you can see the removed speakers and the removed reverb tank. By the way, the tone generator needs to be bolted down during transport, and I usually keep it bolted down even when playing live. Now I'll push the organ up the ramp. I'll lift slightly and then go around to the other side to make sure it's rolling in straight. From here you can see the back of the organ and the rebuilt AO28 preamp by LS Tech and Lonnie Smith out of Indiana. Next goes the organ pedals. You have to be extremely careful because the top pedal pushers are very sharp. Now for the Leslie. The cover is installed and I'll tilt the Leslie forward and slide the dolly underneath. I'll use my foot to push down on the bottom of the dolly and I'll pull the Leslie back with the cover. I love this dolly because of its portable size and the fact that it has a tilt back feature. I thought about adding casters to the Leslie but my organ tech, Bob Schleicher, recommended not to because it would rattle. Now I'll tip the Leslie and slide it into the van. For those that are wondering, there aren't any issues transporting a Leslie on its side. In goes the bench. 
There's the dolly in its folded form. In goes the dolly. Close all the doors. Time to hit the road. 